What it do, y'all? This is Chris Evans, and this is Talking Data and More. And today I wanted to discuss and share with you my insights around the age-old question that's on everybody's mind. It's Tupac and Biggie. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely not that question. That's an easy one to answer, right? I mean, come on. They're both legends. They're both in a class by themselves. Just as simple as that. No, what I wanted to discuss and share with you all are my insights around the data warehouse and data lake. Fight. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to put them uh, up e against each other. This is not a death match. I'm not saying one is better than the other, as I believe it is critical and important for any more mature organization to have both solutions. Um, no, but I wanted to discuss and share you with my thoughts around the data warehouse and data lake solution as I see more and more of my customers and prospects starting these initiatives, right? And as I discussed in you know my prior videos, the road, the importance of data integration, it's also important when you're starting these initiatives around a data warehouse and data lake is to really understand who are the personas that are going to ultimately obtain the value from the solutions, right? Because it's critical for the success of these solutions. It is critical to make sure you understand who the personas that are going to utilize the solutions. But before I get into that, let's get into a simple definition of a data warehouse and, and data lake. And no, I'm not going to give you the Webster definition. <laughs> I'll explain this so that even you can understand. <laughs> no, definitely that's not what I'm going to do. What I'm going to discuss is more of the KISS method of the uh, data warehouse and data lake. Keep it simple, stupid. Great advice. Hurts my feelings every time. I'm going to describe it in a way that hopefully hits home with everybody. And uh, to, to do that, um, who watched the, uh, the Lego movie? Uh, yeah, this guy, of, of course. Uh, remember that uh, that song? Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I bet you it's now stuck in your head now. No, but I'm going to use uh, Legos as an example. You know, I, I, I love Legos. Uh, unfortunately, I did buy the uh, Millennium Falcon set and I uh, have not finished it. It is in my basement now. And uh, I don't know when I'm going to finish that, but I, I know one day I will. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. But let's look at Legos. And I'm going to use Legos as a way to describe um, and define the data warehouse and, and data lake. When you buy a set of Legos, the great thing about them is they kind of sort out which Legos you need, they provide the instructions. So a lot of the Legos, so if you're building the Millennium Falcon, right, they give you all these Legos, They're, they give you which Legos you need to build the uh, inner uh, body, the outer frame, they give it you all, right? So all the Legos they have is specifically for that Millennium Falcon, which is awesome, right? And that's what a data warehouse is. A data warehouse is a landing zone that's more of a, a structured environment. Right? You know the structure pretty much that you need to accomplish specific objectives around the data, right? And the data is actually usually cleansed and it's also transformed for the specific business needs. So you know if, hey, my Legos I got, I'm just building for the Millennium Falcon. Same for the data warehouse. The data that I'm bringing in, I'm really utilizing this for specific objectives. Right? The data is already going to be transformed. So I know when I send the data to the BI layer, I don't really have to do that much manipulation and transformation. That data is going to be spot on and very important. Right? So that, that's more of the, the data warehouse. Right? Now, a data lake is the opposite. It's like my kids taking all my Legos from my Millennium Falcon, dumping it on the ground, mixing their Legos and their kitty Lego, and just scrambling and saying, yeah, there's some day. Uh, there's some Legos for the Millennium Falcon. There's some Legos for uh, the the Kitty Unicorn set. Here's some more Legos for the car that. It's just a mess, right? So you have some of that structured data in your data lake. You have some of your semi-structured, and you'll have the raw data. So, but it's there, right? It's readily available, right? It's secure. So that's what your your data lake is. Your data lake is just a huge landing zone that has all that different data 
sets from your sources, from your targets, your partners, and uh, and your vendors, and it's there, right? And it, and it's there to understand the value within the data. So hopefully that was kind of a an easy uh, explanation uh, of a data warehouse and data lake. And I'm sure now I got that song stuck in your head. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, blame it on me. But now that you quickly understand the the definition of a data warehouse and, and data lake, really, when you're starting such initiatives, as I mentioned earlier, it's important to understand the personas and why so. When you look at a data warehouse and you look at a, a data lake, a data warehouse, you know, the real personas that get the most value from it is more of the business users, your business analysts, right? For example, your finance team uh, is probably using a data warehouse today, right? Because they're getting tremendous value from a warehouse. Why so? They're probably creating and uh, uh, some static reports around quarterly finance, P&L, income statement, yearly reports. That data pretty much needs, is not really changing where it's coming in, right? And that data is pretty much static. It needs to be in a specific structured format. Business rules need to be applied. It really needs to be cleansed. It cannot be incorrect. There can't be duplicates, right? So it's important business rules and data qualities you know, applied. So your data warehouse is going to be fundamentally needed and key for that specific line of business and that persona, that user, that business analyst, that finance analyst, right? So your your that business analyst or finance analyst will really see the most value from the data warehouse. Now, if you look at the data lake, right, and I talked about, you know, the definition of just you have a bunch of data. You have the raw data, you have the semi-structured uh, data, you have the, the structured data. Who really gets the value from that? Well, really, it's going to be those data scientists, those data engineers, the ones that really want to geek out on the data. But really, they're not only just geeking out on the data. They're looking for that diamond in the rough. They're finding that gem. They're looking in that data to say, hey, I see that our products sell better more in the month of June than they do in, you know, during the holidays in December, right? They're also looking at that data to understand your customers' buying habits and patterns so that your marketing team is able to market to them more efficiently. So they're really trying to uncover those hidden gems in the data to allow them to do that, you need to allow them to have access to that data easily and more in a, in a secure manner. So the data lake provides tremendous value. And that is why I wanted to kind of talk to you all about uh, on this series is the data warehouse and data lake because really, though you understand your road, you understand your, your data integration, really understand who are the personas that are going to really get value from solutions right and as i said for any mature organization you want to have both because i'm i'm assuming for more enterprise businesses you have a data scientist uh, you have a data engineer you have your lines of business you have your financial analyst your business analyst you have those so you need to be able to capitalize off a data warehouse and a data lake well hopefully this has kind of provided some value and shed some insights around you know how you would want to utilize a data warehouse and to who as well as how and who you would utilize a data lake for and again this is chris evans and this is talking data i hope to see you guys all in my next video take care <laughs>